Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Um, well, it's all about colour at the moment, and I thought I'd give you all a white perspective. Um, yeah, so they've cast um, Red Sonia, and they announced on the perfect day that they are looking, Warner Brothers is looking to cast a black Superman. Now, why was it the perfect day? Because they announced it on Henry Cavill's birthday. So, a nice little present for Henry Cavill is like, hey, it's Warner Brothers here, happy birthday, you're done. Um, there was a lot of hope that with the success of the Snyder Cut, um, they would keep Henry, Henry Cavill and just do a soft, well, they would either finish out the Snyderverse and do a few more films and then move on to something else, or they do a soft reboot, keep Henry Cavill Superman and then just change, you know, the story around him. Um, because he's been lobbying for it, he is amazing, and there's people who want him, like, um, The Rock, for example, wants to fight Henry Cavill Superman in his film, is it The Black Adam? Uh, I can't remember the name of the character he's doing, but he's doing a superhero film at the moment, and I think he wants to do a team up with Superman, and he wants Henry, Cav Henry Cavill to be it. And with the whole multiverse, I guess there's no reason they can't do a standalone film like that, so he may not totally be gone, but he's not going to have another standalone Superman film anytime soon. Now, I don't have any issues with a black man being Superman. I mean, when I first heard about this, it was going to be um, Michael B. Jordan, and I was really excited about that because he's hot, and I wanted to see him in that outfit, but with the underwear, not like the whole blue outfit. I, I want to see everything. Um, but, um, yeah, he's out. He's not interested. He, he's like, um, n no, there's plenty of black superheroes that we could actually make movies about and actually make them um, as popular as Superman rather than just repackaging the old superheroes have already seen and done a million times. So he's not interested, so he's not going to be in it, so the whole thing's kind of moot to me, to me now. Um, and I'm hearing some disturbing rumours about the character. Um, the first one, and I don't know because people are just talking, like I'm just talking, um, apparently Black Superman is going to crash in Harlem and be raised um, with a lot of racism, and that basically systemic racism and just living in races America is going to make him grow up to be a very different Superman and it's going to be a very different Clark Kent and Superman and a very different story and I'm not really interested in that story. I mean, that story has merit on its own, um, just growing up black in America and what that does and what systematic racism does to someone. Yeah, but not in Superman. It's like they're trying to push a story in into somewhere it doesn't fit. Um, so I'm a bit worried about that. The other talk was that um, there is a black Superman who apparently was the president of America or something. I, 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 haven't, I haven't read that um, Superman. I don't know anything about that um, character. And he isn't actually Clark Kent. He's another um, Superman. They were talking about maybe they were going to do him because that black Superman, I mean, it's all about the casting, it's all about colour, so what does it matter who the actual character is, I guess? But no, this is going to be Clark Kent, a black Clark Kent and a black Superman. And they're going to have a black writer, black director, and they're looking for a black actor now. Now, J.J. Um, Abrams is doing it, and part of me feels like... Because they've been talking about doing a black Superman for years. Um, and I, had, I didn't really have an issue with um, the idea of just casting a black man as Superman, because why not? He's an alien. I mean, he could be any colour. but I mean, he could, <laughs> he could literally be green. Um, what does it matter? I mean, I wasn't bothered, but the idea of changing the character... But then this is a criticism like with um, 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 Idris Elba's character, um, I forgot the name of the character, um, in his series, they're saying, well, this character wasn't written as black, they just cast a black man, which is good because they just, they were open with the casting, they saw a great actor, they, they weren't, they didn't have any issues with the fact he's not um, white, or, you know, they weren't, they, you know, they were colorblind, basically, just p they picked a great actor to play this character. But then they criticised the show because, well, the character isn't black. Like, he's, there's a black man playing him, which is great, but there's nothing about him that's black. He doesn't have black friends, he doesn't eat black food, all these things that supposedly make you black weren't ingredients. So then that would be the same criticism of this, where they just changed the, the, the race, the character, they changed the actor, but they didn't do anything like Superman would have had a different experience if he was black, not white, not this, you know, perfect-looking, um, traditional white sort of country boy. Um, raised in the country. So there's so many elements in play, but J.J. Abrams is doing this, and part of me feels like um, he's just latched onto the black idea 
to sort of protect himself because if he does a bad film, no one can criticize it because they were like, oh, you're racist. You just don't like it because black Superman. You're racist. That's where that that's that's going to go there no matter what. Um, so yeah, it's it's. It's, it's, I'm a bit worried. I don't know what they're doing. I, I don't trust JJ after um, Star Trek and particularly Into Darkness. Um, I still can't believe I covered for him when he asked me and other fans who were in the first screening of the film not to tell anyone about, you know, Khan and everything. And I, I promised him, like, why would I do that? Um, but yeah. I don't know what they're going to do with this. Now, Red Sonja. Red Sonja is a whole nother kettle of fish. Basically, they've cast a black actress, which is fine, in theory, but um, then that leads to the question of, is she going to be a redhead? Because there is this bizarre trend in Hollywood, which is kind of, um, kind of ist and phobic, that they are replacing all the red characters, red characters, redheaded characters, the ginger characters, uh, with black people. It's like... Um, they think diversity is just black people. There aren't other... There's Asian people, there's redheads, there's... Um, um, there's lots of people. <laughs> I can only think of a few different types at the moment. But there's lots of different characters, lots of different people that could be playing them. And just basically saying, well, we need more diversity, so we need black people, so let's just replace all the redheads with black people because we can't replace the blondes. Somehow the reds are disposable... We'll just toss them out and give them to the black people because we don't think they're good enough to have their own characters. Um, we're not going to give them the best characters. So, yeah. So it just it just comes across as just really... Um, uh, just like hand-me-downs or something. And, and just really prejudice against red-headed people because they have had a lot of discrimination throughout the years. And, I mean, God, I remember being a kid, we would tease red-headed kids. We had red-headed kids in school and they got bullied all the time because they were seen as something different or wrong, there's something bad, um, they were evil or something. Apparently this goes right back to like hundreds of years ago, it was supposed to, they were supposed to be witches or something, I don't know, I haven't researched, I've just heard a few stories and I didn't realise it was something that is that ingrained and that far, it goes that far back into history as far as redheads and being discriminated against. But this is just a continuation of that, it's like well, we have to sacrifice someone to race swap. We'll just get rid of the redheads because they don't matter anyway. That's sort of the attitude. And people are making fun of it, and they're just really making sport out of it. Um, I think sites like the Mary Sue. And um, I had a list of some of the characters that have been race swapped, and it's currently sitting on the floor. <laughs> um, Cyclone, Hawk Girl, Iris West, Jimmy Olsen, Wally West... Uh, Starfire, Electro, Jim Gordon, Bo from Shearer, Ariel, Josie from Josie and the um, Pussycats. One of the characters was black, but they had to have two black characters, and they changed it from a redhead to just a black person with black hair. Because, you know, redheads, you know, do come in other um, races. They're not all white people. The majority are white people, but they're not all white people. Um, Ripcord, um, MJ, uh, and I can't read that one. I can't read my handwriting, but yeah, so this is this has been happening for years now, um, and I just don't understand. There are so many white people. Why can't you just get rid of a regular white person, a blonde or a brunette, keep the redheads, add the black people and the Asian people and the Indian people, the coloured people, but just, it's like, it's like, well, we have to keep all the white people, so we have to sacrifice the least important, least white person so we get rid of the redheads. It's just so discriminatory and offensive. And these are the people who are supposed to be woke. It's all about, you know, diversity and everything. And I'm like, but you're, you're, you're discriminating against this one group and you're, you're eradicating them. It's like a ginger side or something. It's like, I don't, I don't get it. Um, of course, um, Clownfish TV has gone on and on and on about this. That's how I learned about it even being a thing. Um, because, um, um, Geeky Sparkles is a redhead. So she... I, I feel bad for her. I mean, imagine you grow up being teased as a kid for being a redhead, but you do see these examples of redheads and superheroes that you are inspired by and you love, and then you see them all slowly removed and replace with black people. And although you like black people too, you're like, I'm not represented now. Why can't we have black people and redheaded people? Or why can't we have redheaded black people? Because <laughs> there are black people with red hair. Um, 
And even if they weren't, they could, they're superheroes, they could still have red hair and be black. Now, they may do that with Ariel. They may do that with Red Sonia because, my God, she's Red Sonia. She can't not be red. You know what I mean? I was like, if they just have her as just a black lady with natural black hair, it's, how is that Red Sonia? It's like, it's, 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 I just, <sighs> and we haven't even talked about the outfit because you know they're going to have to change that. And I'm not too bothered by that because it's ridiculous. There's no way a woman can fight in a G-string and a little bra thing. Like, everything's going to come out, you know. Uh, she may as well just be fighting naked, which most men would like, but it's really not that efficient. So she does need a proper outfit. Um, there's nothing wrong with her being sexy. You can still be a strong woman and be sexy. Um, but she doesn't have to be naked. So that's this other issue. But um, that, that was just a given that we're going to change that. But I wasn't expecting a black actress, and I'm worried that they're just going to do the same thing they've done for all the others. Like, well, we need diversity, so let's just get rid of the red people. Even though it's Red Sonia, um, they did it with Annie. They've done it with, um, I forgot about Annie. Um, I, just, I just don't get these people. They're supposed to be the woke ones. They're supposed to be the ones who care about diversity and representation, but yet they're, they're sort of, you know, eliminating one group to favour another group, which has been neglected and hasn't had the representation it deserves but at the expense of another group it's really not much better <laughs> so um i'm gonna go because like the thing of ariel the thing of ariel was um a lot of people were like well if we have a live action um version of a comic or a cartoon we want it to be exactly how we remembered we don't want it to be different and changed and some people had that issue with it, it wasn't about racism but um the other issue was the red hair. Is she going to have the red hair? I don't know. So there was a whole lot of talk about Ariel when that happened. And now Red Sonia. Because Ariel was like Disney's only red-headed princess. And now she's gone. Apparently now they've, they've got another uh, black princess. So is Red Sonia going to go the same way? Or um, are they all going to have red hair and just be black actresses with red hair? Which that would be a compromise. But I don't know. I just want to see all the colours of the rainbow on screen especially in my superhero films. I don't want it to be all white people. I don't want it to be all black people. I don't want it to be just white people and a token black person. I would like everyone in there. That's That was the whole point of bringing more chairs to the table so everyone had a seat. Um, but I don't feel like we're getting that. I feel like some people are being tossed out of their seats so other people can get a seat and then other people still keep their seats. The ones who already had too many seats at the table, like, you know, the white blonde people. But I've ranted enough. What am I, 10 minutes? 12 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Um, I just hope Michael B. Jordan does a superhero film so I can see him in a superhero outfit. It doesn't have to be Superman, but, you know, 